Hi everybody, welcome to HTBB. I'm Sarah, this is Miles, and we are so glad you're joining us today. If you're watching HTBB online for the first time, this is a great service to be watching. I'm going to be speaking a little bit later on about vision, what we feel that the Lord is leading us into to give clarity and direction in life. So why don't we start by worshipping together? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you are with us right now, wherever we are. Lord, we thank you that you are the source of all vision, of all hope. And we invite you now, Holy Spirit, would you come? Would you fill our hearts? Would you change us? Would you speak to us? Would you make us more like you, that we might be change makers for you in this kingdom? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's worship. Bless the Lord.
God of Abraham, you're the God of covenant and of faithful promises. Time and time again, you have proven to do just what you said. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain steadfast and let my heart
We thank you for the last six years of HDBB. We thank you so much for how you've guided us and been faithful to us for all of these last few years. Lord, we thank you for Church Online, Holy Spirit. We thank you for you are present with us, whether we are worshipping in Lot 10 or in our homes. We also thank you, Lord, for how you've used this season to bring the church into the homes of millions of people all across the world. We thank you that in the midst of suffering and despair, we, the church, can be that light that shines in the dark. We also thank you for Alpha Online. Thank you for the team working behind the scenes on the Alpha film series. And thank you for all the staff in the various offices of Alpha across Asia, making Alpha and the love of Christ accessible to everyone across this region. We also thank you that we can celebrate 57 uh, years of Malaysia this week. We continue to lift our leaders to you and ask that you would give them wisdom to, gov to govern this nation. Pray for everyone who is vulnerable and in need. 
We thank you, Lord, for HDBB's food bank, and we ask that you would help us to continue helping those who are in need. We also thank you, dear Lord, for the remarkable success of SPTC and for SPTC's training of pastors and leaders from the many churches all around. We thank you for all the ways we have found community in HCBB, whether it is through serving on a team, being part of a connect group, youth, campus, or Alpha. We ask that you would continue to help us find friendship in you and with others in HCBB. We ask that you continue to fill us with your spirit as we listen to your word being preached. And vision us, Father, to live with the clarity of vision that comes from you. Thank you for your love that gives us purpose to share the good news, to help those in need, and to see leaders being released. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, everybody, for praying. We love to pray together as a church family, and we know and believe it makes a difference. We're now going to look at HTBB News together. This tells you what's going on in the life of the church. And as we do that, it's also a brilliant opportunity to give. As St. Paul says, those who sow sparingly reap sparingly, but those who sow generously reap generously. And thank you for your generosity. It means that as a church community, we can uh, reap in the kingdom of God and see him do amazing things working through you and your generosity. So let's watch HTBB News together now and give. just wanted to let you know that our next 24-7 prayer week is starting on the 21st of September. So do sign up online, hcbb.org forward slash prayer to book your slot. What's really exciting this round as well is that each day of the prayer week, we will be running a crash course on prayer. And the idea is that we spend an hour a day uh, going through a couple of verses of the Lord's Prayer that will help us understand more about prayer and help us to press into prayer. So do sign up for that online as well at hcbb.org forward slash prayer. Thank you so much for praying. Your prayers really make a difference. HTBB volunteer teams are the life of the church as they serve lots of different needs across Sundays and throughout the week. We want you to be part of our teams, but just so you know what to expect, we've asked each of our teams to introduce themselves first. We're having a join a team event on Zoom on Monday, 14 September from 8 to 9 p.m. Sign up on the website to join in. We'd love for you to be part of it. I think it's fair to say that 2020 has been surprising. At times, it's felt impossible to plan. I saw this one guy on social media posted a picture, this picture. It's of a world travel adapter kit. And he simply wrote, worst purchase of 2020. But at times of uncertainty, we actually need clarity of vision more than ever before. To be reminded of our true north, as it were, to get a sense of what it is the Lord is calling us to. As it says in Proverbs 29, 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. And our vision at HTBB is to play our part in the evangelization of the nations, the revitalization of the church, and the transformation of society. And I think it's easy at this time to think that maybe we need to take a step back, to sort of hunker down and just try to survive. 
But I believe that what the Lord is saying to us as a community at this time is now is the time to advance. Not after the pandemic is over, not once we've got everything in order again, but now is the time. People need hope and the love of Jesus more than ever right now. Now, just before I speak about vision, this vision for the whole church, I, I want to say just a quick word of encouragement to anyone who is facing a challenging time personally right now. And that might be you. In the passage I'm going to read for us, Jesus looks at the crowds and he says that they are harassed and helpless. Maybe you feel like that. But he also looks at those same people and he says, the harvest is plentiful. You will be plentiful. How is this possible? Well, un unless a seed, uh, a bernet, first dies and falls to the ground, it can't be fruitful. It can't produce a crop. Dying and falling to the ground is the first step. And maybe you feel things have fallen down to the ground in your life. Be encouraged. And once the seed is in the ground, there's that period of time, isn't there, when it looks like nothing is actually happening. Maybe you're in a period of your life right now where you're just waiting and nothing seemed to be happening. But that's not true. Once the seed is in the ground, a lot is happening. We just can't always see it. It's happening underground in the hidden places. And faith works best in the dark. You see, eventually the shoot comes up. And when the grain is in the ground, the wheat is on its way. And faith doesn't just exist in the realm of the possible, but faith begins where our power ends. You will be plentiful. I'm going to read to us now the verse for today, the verses for today. It's uh, Matthew chapter 9, and it's verses 35 to 38. And we read this. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. HTBB, now is the time to advance. And what do we see from this passage? Well, firstly, now is the time to share the good news. Verse, verse 35 says that Jesus went through all the towns and villages proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. People's greatest need is to experience the love of God themselves and to know forgiveness and eternal life through Jesus. Therefore, sharing this good news is the most loving thing that we can do. And it's for everyone. Verse 35 says Jesus went through all the towns and villages. He didn't want anyone to miss out. You don't need to miss out. And there are so many ways to share this good news, the gospel. But I just wanna highlight two today. The first way in which we can share the good news is through Sundays, through our HTBB services. And during this time of pandemic, HTBB has gone from one to now two campuses. We have our physical campus on top of Lot 10 in Bukit Bintang, but now we also have an online campus as well. And both are here to stay. At the moment, we have uh, physical uh, services in English at Lot 10 at 9.30 a.m. and 
beginning today, an 11.30 a.m. service as well for anyone who can't quite get up in time for 9.30. And we have an 11.30 a.m. service in Mandarin. I'd love to encourage you to come and give it a try. And uh, watch this space. We'll be announcing soon that the 5 p.m. service will be beginning again at Lot 10 on the 4th of October. But we're not just going to do physical services. I don't believe God caused this pandemic, but he has and will continue to use it. And one thing that it forced us to do is to embrace the potential, and here's the key word, the reach of the digital sphere. Church Online is now our second campus, and it's important for helping us reach those who are seeking. Maybe you're watching this today and you're seeking for some good news in your life. And it can act as a bridge over which people can eventually come and try church here at Lot 10. In fact, as the services have begun to open again physically, we've already met plenty of people that never used to go to church. But during the time of MCO lockdown, they, they started to watch online. But church online is also important for reaching those people who just simply cannot come to Bukit Bintang for reasons of background or personal circumstance. And so far, do you know, we've produced 81 services online already. Can you believe it? And the reach has been impressive. We've had over 53,000 views on the church online platform and over 123,000 views on our YouTube channel, HTBB Church. Why don't you subscribe if you haven't done already? But this is just the beginning of who we can reach through Church Online. The second way in which we can also share the good news, of course, is not just our, our church services, but also through Alpha. And Alpha is an amazing tool for sharing the good news. And we run Alpha here at HTBB many times per year. If you've never done it, why don't you give it a try or bring a friend? And HTBB is also the home of what's called the Alpha Hub for Asia Pacific. From uh, HTBB, we oversee the work to train and equip other churches to know how to run Alpha as well. Actually, we train and equip about 4,000 churches across Asia per year to run Alpha in their context. Let me kind of explain what that means. That means about 200,000 people exploring the Christian faith in Asia through Alpha every year. And you and I, we get to be a part of this. We get the privilege to oversee this amazing ministry from KL. Or to put it this way, since we began the Alpha Hub at HTBB, we've seen about 1 million people in Asia have the opportunity to discover faith in Jesus through attending Alpha. Wow. And Alpha has pivoted online too, just these last few months, enabling many people to attend Alpha when otherwise they couldn't. So we've seen Alphas begin during this lockdown period in completely new places. It started to run in places like Nepal and Bhutan. And a really exciting development is that uh, we applied and uh, thankfully successfully got a grant from a very generous US foundation to make contextualized versions of the Alpha film series, the, the Alpha videos for Asia, in particular for uh, Indonesia, for India, and for China. That means we're going to start filming to produce local testimonies, uh, local street interviews, and contextualize the videos for those three amazing countries. This is a game changer for the mission in this region. Those three countries alone have a population of nearly three billion people. The harvest is indeed plentiful. And these new videos are going to be a massive boost to sharing the good news in those places. And now that we are running Alpha Online, we're also training and equipping all these churches in the region online as well, doing online conferences. Let me give you an example. 
just Friday and Saturday uh, this last week, the amazing team ran SINA. That's uh, an alpha for youth conference online uh, training churches how to run alpha for young people. We had over 1,200 delegates attend. But because it was run online, we could train and equip leaders that we could never previously have been able to reach. So for example, uh, this photograph is of one young guy who, because he's in the interior, he had to take his smartphone, his Bible and notebook, and climb up a huge hill just to get good enough Wi-Fi connection to be able to attend the conference. But he did it. Just to give you an idea of where he went, this is what the spot looks like in daylight. Isn't that amazing? The reach now is beyond our wildest dreams. We truly can tell the world about Jesus. But to pioneer this work, we need every one of you watching this. We need you desperately, please, to pray for this amazing work, to give to it generously, and please to help make our Alpha course here at HTBB the best it possibly can be. Because we're like the shop window for Asia. Many pastors come here, they see uh, and experience our Alpha and go, wow, I want to run this in my church. Thank you for the part that you're playing. Now is the time to share the good news. Secondly, we believe that now is the time to help those in need. Yes, sharing the gospel is a way to love people, but we mustn't stop there. If we truly love them, we must also meet their practical needs. And we read in the passage that Jesus went through all the towns and villages, preaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every sickness and disease. He saw the crowds and he had compassion on them. He even fed them. There must have been some Malaysians in the crowd, I guess. And sometimes he fed them miraculously, feeding the 4,000 and the 5,000. And this helping of people's practical needs is something the church has always done. After the pandemics of AD 165 and AD 251, the church grew massively. Why? Well, the pagans ran from the pandemic, but the church ran towards the need. Let us run towards the need. And I want to say thank you because so many of you do this brilliantly. You've reached out, you've, you've helped your neighbors. Many of you uh, help make PPE for our frontline heroes in the medical profession. Uh, and many of you have given generously, thank you, during this period. And in your giving to HTBB, you have made a huge difference uh, to the lives of many, and in particular, the work that we have with the families that we support through the HTBB Food Bank. And now we're continuing to support those families in other ways as well, such as online classes for their children and soon uh, computer skills training. And all this work is um, led by the amazing Michael Ho and by Stephen Thang. And here is Stephen to tell us a little bit about the difference that you're making and how we can continue to reach out. Let's watch this video. Hey, my name is Stephen Tang. I'm from Myanmar. I came here 10 years ago, and I live here as a refugee. I'm married to Lam Lam, and I have, we have a son called Sebastian. And we all serve in food bank ministry here in HTBB. So last year in July, we starting uh, this food bank ministry and we starting with 100 families. So we basically talk to the family and uh, the family that we support, they eat rice as their main food. Of course, rice you can't eat alone, so you need something to eat with rice. So we came up with this idea, which is the sardines.
thanks God during the MCO, the congregation is so generous that we can increase the budget. And then our food packs is become like really, really huge. And there's a lot of food item in the food packs. คนคนอาจจะบางอย่างนะกันนั่นต่างนับพิวจะอย่างสองเขียวเกี่ยวกับจังบางจริยะเกี่ยวกับสันนิษฐานนวมบ้าตัวนี้เลยสมเด็จก
we read how Paul goes to Ephesus. And there in Ephesus, he goes to the town hall called the Hall of Tyrannus. And he began a center for discipleship and mission and began to send out leaders. And the result, we're told in Acts 19, is that the word of the Lord spread throughout the whole of Asia Minor. Think about it. That which the amazing, talented Paul and Barnabas could not achieve on their own in Acts 13 was achieved by raising up and sending out leaders in Acts 19. This is the greatest legacy we can leave. Now, uh, some of us watching this today, maybe you don't feel like an impressive leader. I know exactly how you feel, but don't worry. You don't have to be. You just have to be willing to be a worker or a disciple of Jesus Christ. Jesus, interestingly, doesn't say, ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out leaders. He says, ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers, to send out disciples. And a, di a disciple is simply a follower of Jesus. You are of far greater use to God if you're a committed follower of Jesus than if you're simply a leader of people. And the way that we build disciples here is primarily life on life. That's why it's so important to join a connect group, to serve on a team, to do life together, to model following Jesus to one another. That's how we learn, monkey see, monkey do. And every one of us has a part to play in this. And here at The Hub, one way in which we, I suppose, upskill and train workers for the harvest field is through our theological college, SPTC, St. Paul's Theological College. We now have over 100 students. The college is fully accredited by the ATA, accredited to offer certificates, diplomas, degrees, and now even an MA in theology. And our first seven ordinands, that's our homegrown past pastors, are about to be ordained and commissioned to become deacons and deaconesses within the Anglican Church. This is so exciting. And they're gonna get ordained on the 29th of September at St. Mary's Cathedral. This is part of your story. Why? Well, just as it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a whole church family to raise a pastor. And I'd love us to pray for them right now. So guys, why don't you come on in? We're going to pray for you. And uh, if you're watching this online, um, could I ask you to sort of stretch out a hand towards your screen? And we're going to pray for them right now. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for these men and women that you've called to get ordained to be leaders in your church. We pray that you come now in power and rest upon each one of them with your Holy Spirit. Would you anoint them for such a time as this? Lord, would you equip them? Would you put a fire in their belly, a passion for the crowds to share the good news, to meet people's needs and to raise up other leaders themselves? We pray that you'd use them to lead here at HTBB, around the region, to lead eventually other churches and to plant new churches in this region in your kingdom. Would you bless them and their families and use them mightily, we pray. In your precious name, Jesus, we do pray this and ask that you'd send them out. Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys, so much. And thank you for praying for them. This is a new chapter in the life of HTBB. Now, all this vision becoming a reality begins with prayer. Jesus says in verse 38, ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore. Ask in prayer. Jesus said, when two or more are gathered in my name, then I am present and I'm there to hear and to answer. Jesus also says, sometimes you don't have because you don't ask. And I'm so thankful that you're such a prayerful church. 
during uh, the lockdown, I know that some of you gathered on Zoom every day at 6.30 p.m. to pray. And you kept that prayer meeting going consecutively for 100 days. That's a lot of prayer. And we also ran a 24-7 prayer week uh, online. Uh, Every hour slot taken by one of you. Thank you. It has made a difference. And we're running another 24-7 week of prayer beginning on the 21st of September. I'd love you to go to our HTBB website, sign up and grab a slot. This is where reaping the harvest begins in the heavenlies as we pray. And I want you to also please ask the Lord, how might he want you to respond to this vision casting today? How can you play your part? Because he's got a piece of the jigsaw, especially for you to place as he builds the beautiful picture of his kingdom here on earth. As well as praying, I want to suggest two other ways. Firstly, we can all give. We all have a part to play. Whether we have just a little or a lot, we can all be stakeholders in this exciting vision. God gives each one of us the dignity to play our part in giving. And I'm going to say more about that next week. And then the other way I'd love you to get involved is please join a team and a connect group. And to find out more about the various ministries of the church and how you can play your part, then I'd love you to join our Join a Team Zoom Fair tomorrow, Monday the 14th of September at 8 p.m. You can register on the website. I think even the link will come up now on the chat. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's informative, and you can see everything that goes on and where the Lord might be asking you to come and meet a need and to play your important part. But let's pray right now and ask the Lord what he would have for us in this next season. We are a family on a mission. And if you're new watching this right now, I'm inviting you to come and be part of this family on a mission on a mission. Let's do it together and let's pray. You might want to put your hands out in front as if to say, Lord, I'm willing to receive anything that you want to say to me or do in my life. You don't have to, but I I find it helpful. And then just simply pray this. Pray, come Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, come and fill us afresh right now. Open your heart to touch you right now. Come, Holy Spirit. Allow the Lord to place on your heart now fresh vision, faith, Faith sees best in the dark for what he has for you. And I think right at the start of my talk, what I said about a seed, a Bernay, first needing to die and fall to the ground is where I think some people are at today. If that's you, We'd love to pray for you. Prayer can be like the sort of water on the ground to help the seed grow. And if you would like prayer, then you just click the request prayer button right now. And our online pastors are here to confidentially pray for you. And also, as I was praying earlier uh, about this time, I, I felt like I heard the Lord give me the word solitude. I think there's somebody watching this um, and you're so busy, work is stressful, your family life is full on, you're spinning so many plates and you just crave for a bit of solitude, a bit of silence, just to be able to step back out of the busyness. I believe the Lord would like you to receive prayer right now that you would know his peace in the midst 
of the, of the chaos, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding in your heart and mind. And whatever, whatever your prayer request right now, however big or however small, just click request prayer and we'd love to stand with you and pray to ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore. And as we pray, let's go into a time of worshiping, worshiping together right now. People come together, strange as neighbors, our blood is one. Children of generations of every nation of kingdom come. So don't let your heart be troubled. Hold your head up, I don't fear no evil. Fix your eyes on this one truth. God is madly in love with you. So take courage, hold on, be strong. Remember where our help comes from. Oh, okay. 
so much for joining us today. We're so glad you could be with us. Remember, if you still would like somebody to pray for you, just click on Request Prayer and our online prayers are still waiting to pray with you. And remember, if you'd like to join a team or find out about the ministries in the church, how you can play your part in seeing this vision become reality, or, or to join a connect group and grow as a disciple, life on life, then tomorrow, join the join a team, Zoom Fair at 8 p.m. Uh, you can go to the website, find out details. I'd love to see you there. But let's finish now with the words of the blessing. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Have a great week.